and uh, now we need to think about what we want to achieve. First of all, in 2D animation, we have only so much effect to display, at least when we talk about animation. So I will give you a few examples right here so we can at least fiddle a bit so, we could, so you can see directly how animation works. First of all, I'm going to scale this down and place it in the, let's say, upper left corner. And you can achieve very different effects very easily in Blender if you think about it, because you have you have the third yes dimension, if you will. Only the final rendering will not be possible to show that. So you can also go in and look from above, I guess, uh, nee, from the side. So you can see there is the plane. It's just a simple 2D plane and the camera looking towards it. But nothing says you can just go in and maybe duplicate this object and move it in front of the other plane and maybe scale it a bit down. And when you look into the camera, you see you have two layers, I guess which can be move, moved differently from one another, either moving in front of something or back. And that's also something very useful when you think about it, when we consider animation, at least simple animation from above. Now the timeline is very important in this case, because we will be working with keyframes. Keyframes are just uh, savings of different val values in this specific frame. So, so we can go in and maybe we start with the location. The, the object I currently selected has this location values. So on the Y axis, it's two meters. And on the X location, it's minus two meters, but we can ignore that for now because we are going to move this away from the camera. So it's not visible, at least in the first frame, as you can see on the left corner. So now it changed, as you can see, now it's minus five meters. Now we go in and choose right click and say insert keyframes. Now you can see it's got it, this yellow color and a point down here just appeared. We saved now the location for this object in this frame. So now if you think about where it's going to stand if the animation is finished, I guess, you can go in and choose the last frame, for example, frame 300. And you just take the position you want to reach at the end of the animation. For example, we go in and place it just here. And as you can see, now it's red, the value. It changed. That's an indicator for that. The other values didn't change over the frames, only the X location. And now we go in and insert another keyframe. Now, as you can see, we go to frame one and it's moving. It's simple as that. Now we can play it and as you can see, at frame 100, it's going to have the location you cho uh, you have chosen. But that's not all. We can go in and maybe choose frame 150, so the middle, and say, before you reach the final destination, you go in and maybe you go downwards, maybe here, and insert keyframes. Now, it basically adds 
automatically every other step which li lies in between the frames and automatically smooths everything. So now it should go to the down middle location and then to the right upper left uh, upper right corner. And as you can see, it does exactly that.